Hey YouTube, it's the Eric Volpe. It's time to get to interest in our Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. But first, I'd really just like to talk about what happened with Wild Chase. I know I shouldn't be talking about this. This really isn't my place to talk. But I, I guess even though I'm one of the very little guys in the Pokemon community, it affects me too. I mean, I woke up this morning and I checked my subs. I'm like, oh, where's that Wild Chase video? Wait, it's on here. And you know, I never, I'll never admit this to him in his face, and he'll probably never see it. So it's all good. I really admired him, and I really hope that nothing that he can, he stays on YouTube, and I hope that his passion for the game stays. Because really, when you admire someone and you, you know, and you want their respect, the one thing you hate to see is them fall in a sense, and I really don't want that happening. But in the end, you gotta hope that the reason why you admire them is why they're able to pull through it. Alright, so let's just get on with the battle. Okay, first off, what you're seeing here is the team I used. Um, this is actually my theme team. My theme was League of Legends. Good thing I messed up in my stabbing for some reason. The nickname on my Shaman and my Wukong would not save. And see, I meant Infernape. My Infernape was named Wukong the after Wukong the Monkey King and Shaman was named Teemo. Um, my Chansey was named Leona because Leona is a really bulky mage support I guess in a sense. And she's really good but at the same time she can do damage. Um, Latias was named after Shivana which is a female half dragon which you know, I can't, I really thought fit because Latias is only a dragon and only female. Lucario is named after Nasus which is a dog Egyptian but still. Jax is my Blastoise. Jax is a turtle. He's really bulky. And Shaman's supposed to be Teemo. Teemo's a little small green guy who runs around putting down mushrooms, kind of like Leech Seed, who can slow down your opponent and really do damage. Okay? So, yeah, it, I kind of like the team. There's 86 characters, so I can constantly change this up. So that is not an issue. So, my opponent's name was Feet. This is actually for Elo's tournament. I brought, as I've already told you, a League of Legends team. He brought a My Little Pony team. Since I knew nothing of the show, I didn't question any of his, you know, names. As he did not question mine, but I did in the Skype conversation explain them. For example, first thing I did was I explained, oh shit, my friend is supposed to be named Wukong. Um, he was actually very cool. Write that in there. I think he could, I could have lost by DQ. He was really nice, and he didn't do it to me. Um, keep in mind this is also his first Wi-Fi battle ever. He has played PO, but I still cut him some slack. He made some meh, some odd points, especially in his lead. Um, can can somebody tell me? Does Inferno normally outspeed Zeb Striker? I thought Zeb Striker was ridiculously fast, but whatever. However, he does make a smart opening play, knowing that after the plus one, he will be quicker. He will break my sash. I'm not sure if he was going for that. Well, that's what happened. I got my rocks up. I did hope, thinking, well, you know, in front of him's not that thin of defenses. Maybe I can overheat him, but nah, I died. So, yeah, sucks. I would have gone on to, well, nothing I, nothing I had really wanted to take that either. I mean, Chansey doesn't. Blastoise definitely didn't, so, yeah. So I got into Gnosis just to go for the safe extreme speed. It'll be an easy kill. It will show him life orb, but I don't want to mess around. This is a tournament, so I'm not going to over predict early game. He now, in return, goes on to counter up. Really, not going to lie. Is this thing ground fire? If it's ground fire, good. I made all smart plays during this match, but i that's what I thought it was. So I go into Blastoise knowing I can take him on either side of the spectrum. I can resist his fire moves. No matter what they are, and I, and I see the special flamethrower, so I'm like, okay, he's special based. This works out actually. So all I'm gonna do here is, I believe, I go for the toxic, predicting his switch into something that can take a hit. Um, the only thing that I think he really was switched out to is maybe Starmie or S Sableye, but he doesn't. He stays in, except quick to do a lot more. It does a good chunk though. Makes me really kind of fear counter up a little bit seeing what it could do to my Blastoise. However, while I could risk the Scald kill, I'd rather not um, put my Blastoise in such a little range at this point and go out in Latias, 
which would be a sure kill. So I do that, Latias comes in, this Latias has Psychic, Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, Surf. The reason why it has um, Psychic and Draco is because I really don't like running Draco Dragon Pulse, and I feel like Psychic's going to be helpful against any fighting types I might see during this tournament. Also, I run Psychic in general. There's probably a better move to put over Psychic or put over Thunderbolt, but nah, eh, that's me. So sadly, he might have protected the Psychic, when in reality I should have gone for the Surf. He goes to the Sableye. This Sableye is the main thing I feared on his team. So I go right into Chansey. Sadly, I get tricked. If I had stayed in, he would have... Uh, if I had stayed in, he would. I would have gotten his Scarf, and he would have gotten my Scarf, and be like, whoa. But... He does get my Evil Light, which does bring down Chansey's survivability, but it doesn't hinder her enough. And then he pr out predicts me again by going as Needle Queen while I go for Toxic. Kind of important. I wasn't going to S Toss though, because that would just be stupid. So I believe, no, I should have stayed in to see what I wanted to do, but I think I was fearing him being physical based. So I go into Shaman though, knowing if he has an Earthquake or Earth Power, I can take it. However, now I am kind of scared what he wants to do, so I am just going to sub up. By the way, Shaman should be named Teemo. I already explained this. But if you play the game, you'll know Teemo is Shaman, definitely. They're both small, they're both useless in team fights, but they can both kick some serious ass when given the right means. So I see that he has a super effective move on Shaman. I really want to stay in. I was really hoping he wasn't abusing the sheer force, but. You know, it's a Nido Queen, why wouldn't you? It's a free life orb and all that fun stuff. And I'm just going to go into Chansey because I know I can take any of his hits. And what I decided to do here is actually kind of weird, but it's also really smart. That was a crit ice beam, which makes me go, lol. What I don't get what he didn't do is, well, maybe, yeah, I don't get what he didn't, why he didn't do this here. I go for the wish, so obviously I'm playing on switching because it's a scarf wish. You know, I'm not going to stay in. So I switch out into Jax, my Blastoise. Hoping, hoping I can take the... Aw, oh, shit, he talks it. But he, I missed, he missed, yes! You, a, to a turtle evaded your attack. He's a ninja turtle. Oh no, well, he's Jax, but Jax doesn't have that counter strike, so... Yeah, it works. Now I am just going to go for the rapid spin. No, wait, I go for the Scald. Sorry, my player was lagging. I think I'm going to turn ahead of myself. Do I go for the Scald? I know I should spin eventually. Or do I just keep Scalding? I don't know. Why am I faster? And that just hit me, actually. Why am I faster? I do not know. So, I believe he goes in the canner up here as Death Fodder. Which is kind of... I don't know, because Canner up. I don't know. At this point, I really don't know. Also, I'm kind of like wondering how slow some of his Pokemon are because I outspeed them. I rapid spin the rocks away because I do have pokes I'd really like to get served more. Uh, Canner up really isn't a big deal to me. I can easily just scald it. At this point, Blastoise has done his job. He spun away the rocks. He took out a poke or two. Toxic one, which was the counter up. And now here, he makes an odd play, but I think I know what he was trying to do. But I thought I knew what he was trying. Oh, hey, 274, my favorite number. I thought he was going to make this play because his table I had substitute. He goes to the Starmie, and obviously you think, okay, he's going to T ball. But Starmie's not that strong, even a super effective hit. I think Blastoise can take it at that range. So I stay in, and I go for the Skull. I think what he was trying to do was get me a double switch out in the Chansey, which would force me to pretty much go for the rocks, which would let him go for the rocks again. But I say and just scald his face off. Boy, I'm not worked up. I saw. Or he was looking for a safe switch in. I'm not sure. However, this next play makes Blastoise look like a BAMF. Because in comes the Star Raptor. And I remember this too. So after it comes in, just brave birds, everything. But my boss always knows how to use charm, hide, and pound, so I'm able to live that hit with nine. And now I get to hit him with the ult, with the um, what's the water one called? Wh whatever the ult, the uh, wow, 
Whatever that water ability is that brings up my my special my water attacks by 50%. Wow, I forgot its name. Um, I know there's Blaze, Overgrow, and something else. Oh shit, I suck at this game. <laughs> if somebody wants to tell me in the comments, that'd be amazing. So, now he goes back out into Starmie, Twilight Star, I have no idea. And I go into Shaman. And here's my mentality. Okay, Shaman, I put 6 HP investments into you. There are 6 HP in there. If you live this, you get a cookie. Okay? And Shaman gets a cookie. Now wait, if you hit the seed for it, you get another cookie. My Shaman just earned two cookies right here. He just got two cookies. Two cookies. For being awesome. Even though it's Teemo, and Teemo sucks. But still. Still. The Poke is awesome. The person it's named after, or supposed to be named after, sucks. I don't like Teemo. Bastard. Alright, I'm going to start talking about my irrational hit of Teemo if this keeps going on. So, he brings in Sableye, I just, I just go for the Seed Flare, and he goes for Foul Play. And I'm like, what? Foul Play? Why are you using Foul Play? Ah, oh, and my girlfriend message. Is that my girlfriend? I can't tell, the Camtasia's blocking the, the uh, message thing. Whatever. So now I just go into Shivana, and I'm like, okay. Well, I could have easily Draco Meteor for you for the kill, but I was gonna go with Steve Tebow. So then we have a Star War, it's not really, because I crit him. Yeah, I crit him like two turns, which really is what would have ended up happening to kill him, or paralyzation would occur eventually. And then, and if anything, if he killed Latias, I could have switched down to Chansey, gone for Toxic, then switched out to something else to die, then switch back into Chansey and just keep using Wish. That's all I would have had to do. I would have won the match eventually. So, the, so that was a great game. My opponent's name was like Feet. He doesn't battle anything, but still he's an awesome guy. I'll check you guys later. Okay, until then, peace.